Avram Stern, also known as Yair, was the founder and leader of the Zionist underground, later known as Lehi. Lehi was founded in 1940. It split off from the Irgun, when the Irgun joined forces with Haganah to support the British in their fight against the Nazis. Stern rejected collaboration with the British and claimed that only a continuing struggle against them would eventually lead to an independent Jewish state and resolve the Jewish situation in the diaspora. British restrictions after 1939 on Jewish immigration, Aliyah, to the land of Israel, strengthened his convictions in this regard. Yair, who was also a poet, was killed in 1942 by British police, shot from behind, having already been handcuffed. The Defense Ministry held a special contest for young boys and girls, testing their knowledge of Yair's heritage and legacy. 100 years after the birth of Avraham Yair Stern, young boys and girls from throughout Israel came to participate for the first time ever in a quiz on the legacy and writings of the Lehi commander. More than 300 kids participated in the initial tests. The top 35 were acquitted to take part in the final stages of the contest. This topic interests me very much. I've learned about it since fourth grade. When my father and I went to the museum, we saw the ad for the contest, and it interested me, and I went to do the test. We asked questions about his life, the operations that his organization carried out, fighting against the British, trying to drive them out of the land of Israel, and struggling to establish a Jewish state. I learned from this about heroism of people who cared. They were not egotistic. Nowadays, we speak to the youth a lot. We meet soldiers as well. When we see paratroopers that are ours, and youth that is ours, we think that if we would have known back then that this is actually going to happen, it would have given us such motivation. Not that we were missing any motivation, thank God. The Lehi veterans joined the event. They didn't compete with the kids on the knowledge of Lehi history, rather saw with their own eyes how their actions became a legend to inspire. After 60 years, to see this wonderful youth that comes and shows interest and knows about the Lehi heritage, we were criticized, slandered, and libeled for years, and so it's a great pleasure to see this. They are the new generation that will work for the true independence of the nation and the state. They will not let anyone give up parts of the land of Israel. It's the beginning of the days of Mashiach to see youth like this. After all that we went through, they call us insane, dreamers, delusional. To now see that the state was established? The face of the state today is not as I expected. Nevertheless, if we are able to bring youth like this here, there is still hope for the nation of Israel.